Hey guys, so I'm really excited to be doing this class with you today. It's going to be studio style, so it's like we're together, which is always nice. And it's going to be a little bit of everything that I do here on my channel. Okay, let's all begin by coming into a comfortable seated position. So I've just brought one foot in front of the other and we're just going to be here for a couple of rounds of deep breath just to bring us into this present moment. So guys, bring your hands down onto your knees. Let's straighten through the spine. Relax the shoulders. Tilt your chin up slightly. Begin on a deep inhale, breathing only through the nose. We want to fill and empty the lungs with every in and exhale. As you take a deep breath in, when your lungs are full, I want you to just pause briefly. For every person, this amount of time is unique to them, but just pause. And then on that exhale, fully release that air. And just repeat. And this is what I call our yogic breath. And we're just gonna do that for a couple of rounds right now with our eyes closed. Just to prepare us for the class ahead. Let's just leave our stresses and worries at the door and take this time just for us. Deep, slow breathing. Just checking in with how we're doing today how we're feeling. Connecting to ourselves, away from the busyness of our external lives. Please just a couple more rounds of breath before we begin. Beautiful, on the next inhale, please open your eyes. And we're going to open our legs as well. So just bringing both legs out in a comfortable trajectory from the hips. So for each of us, this is different, but what I want you to aim for is a wide open leg. So let's take a deep breath in together, bringing our hands at the navel and as we inhale, let's open our arms, bringing them up above the head, connecting the palms. And the exhale, drop that left hand down, extend towards the left side through the right body. Tilt your chin up towards the ceiling if that feels good for you. And again, bring your focus to that yogic breath. With every exhale, allow your body to come deeper into the pose. Allow your body to relax just that little bit more. Release whatever is not serving you at this time. Okay, let's begin to rotate the body towards that left leg. Drop the right hand down. Take a deep breath in. So our body is in a slight twist facing that left leg. So on an inhale, fill the lungs, and on an exhale, slowly start to draw your torso towards that extended left leg. So in this, we're only gonna be using body weight as a way to go deeper. Never need to apply any pressure or anything in a forward fold. You just wanna allow your body to gently and slowly open up in its own time. Keep those toes up towards the ceiling so that your leg is in engagement. You'll notice probably that as time goes on, your body will just naturally open itself more to you and move itself into the poses deeper. 
Beautiful, let's take one more deep breath in here. And on the exhale, let's come up back to center and over and across to the other side. Beginning with that side body stretch with that right hand planted down and that left arm reaching across towards the right side. So we wanna make sure that we're not leaning forwards or bending backwards. We wanna keep our spine really nice and straight here. It's all about form. So I say this a lot, you know, it's not about how deep you can move into a pose, how good you are at like creating that perfect picture, yoga pose or something like that. It's about maintaining a really solid, good form. And bit by bit over time, and honestly, it takes years, you know, your body will begin to become more flexible and open to you with consistency. Okay, let's come up back to center. And now rotate your body towards that right leg. Both hands down. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, let's slowly come down. Again, just like I said, you know, just allowing the weight of the body to be the driving force here. And on that driving subject, I'm sorry about the noise because I got a road just there on my house. I'm on the road, so sometimes you can hear the cars and stuff passing by and I apologize for that. Hope it's not too distracting. <laughs> okay, let's just take two more deep breaths here. Okay, on that exhale, let's extend both arms. Bring those shoulders back. Rotate the body back to center. Hands down for support. And we are gonna bring the soles of our feet together. So again, just rocking side to side so that your sit bones are even, that's important. We're gonna take a butterfly pose. So bring your hands down to your ankles. And again, checking your alignment. So everything that we do in yoga needs to be mirrored to the best of our ability in yoga. So whatever one side looks like, you wanna make sure that the other side looks exactly the same. Right, let's take another deep breath in. And on that exhale, you know what to do. Let's come slowly down and move into another forward fold. Bring your hands down in front of you. So a really good way of checking your alignment is to, for example, you see my hands are down now and I'm using these hands for support. That's my connection to the ground and support for me as I move into the pose. So I wanna make sure that these guys are in equal balance to each other so that whatever I'm doing through my arms, my body will be doing too. So if I'm in balance through my hands and I'm slowly coming down, my body is gonna stay in perfect balance as well. If I'm like this, I'm gonna come in wonky. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Sorry, too much talking. Let's move into our butterfly and again, just focus on your breathing here. So, you know, it's just the beginning of the class. So the purpose really now is just to gently open the body, get into the, mi the right uh, mind frame through our breathing so that we can continue that breathing throughout the rest of the class and just warm up really, you know, give the body a chance to open itself up after my night's sleep. Okay, let's take one more deep breath in here. And on that exhale, hands down, extend your arms, bring those shoulders back. Just needed to shift my perspective slightly so that we are the same. 
So from your butterfly pose, we're gonna come into a reclined butterfly now. So extend your arms forward in front of you and slowly vertebra by vertebra, come down to the mat. And here from your reclined butterfly, you can bring your left hand onto your heart and your right hand onto your belly. Or if it's more comfortable for you, just leave your hands at the base of your thigh. With your eyes closed, just enjoy a couple of rounds of deep breath here. Just allowing gravity to open up your lower body. No further effort required. Just focus on your breathing. One more deep breath in. And on the exhale, bring your hands down, slowly bring your knees together. And we're gonna to begin to open our arms from the shoulder blades. From the shoulder blades, open your arms with the soles of your feet down. And we're gonna just slowly lift and lower the legs, taking a windshield wiper moving your knees from left to right. Keep your core engaged for support through the spine. Just move slowly. And every time the knees come to one side, you can release fully and then engage your core again. Lift your knees up and bring the knees over and across. And again, release. Let's do this a couple more times each side. This is a really nice lower back release. One more time wherever you are and then bring those knees back up and drawing the left knee into the chest, bringing the left calf on top of your right thigh and we're gonna move into our reclined pigeon pose. So taking the right thigh from the back and drawing both legs in towards the chest. So just taking deep, slow breaths here. It may feel good even to just gently rock from side to side. Explore what feels good for you. Let's take one more deep breath in together here. And on that exhale, bring that right foot slowly down. Open your arms out to the side again, palms facing down. And we're gonna slowly lower the knee. So the left knee down towards the left side, keeping the legs as they are. Once your legs are at the left, with your legs in position, slowly tilt your head across towards the right side. Deep, slow breathing here. One more deep breath in. And then using that exhale, bring your head back to center, engage your core and bring your legs back to center too. So we're gonna swap the legs over. So bring that left foot down. And just before we move into our pigeon or reclined pigeon on the other side, let's take a couple more windshield wipers left to right. Now let's prepare to move into reclined pigeon on the other side. So bringing your legs back to center, lifting your left leg and bringing it on top of your right thigh. Gently draw that right leg in towards the body and taking the back of your thigh, draw the legs in towards the body.
So you want to feel a deep stretch here through the glute muscle. If you don't feel anything, just draw the legs even closer towards you. You should feel it. Again, if you took that gentle rock before, please feel free to do it again here on the other side. One more deep breath in and let's all release on the next exhale, slowly lowering the sole of your right foot down. Open the arms at the shoulder, palm down. And we're gonna slowly lo lower the legs towards the right side now. With your legs and lower body in position, you can rotate your head towards the left side. Closing your eyes and just enjoying a couple of rounds of deep breath here. Deep, slow breathing. Uh, beautiful. Okay, let's come back to center through the head and let's engage the core and bring the legs back to center too. Drop that sole of your left foot down beside the right and draw both knees in towards the chest. Just a quick lower back release before we move into the next set of exercises. Little gentle rock from side to side could feel good for you today. Just explore and do what feels best for you. Okay, and let's release. As you lower your legs, allow your upper body to come forward. Let's move into boat pose, extending your arms in front of you. So from here, we're gonna bring our hands into prayer, lowering one foot and then the other. For anyone who is more advanced in their practice, they can extend their legs here. So I'll leave that to you. Just keep this going, keeping your core tightly engaged. and pause holding your boat pose. Bring your hands, interlace the fingers to the front of you and let's move from left to right. Doing really well, keep this going. One more and get cross at the ankle. Bring your hands down. We're going to jump or step back to high plank. From your high plank, inhale and exhale. Let's move through our chaturanga. Inhaling to upward facing dog and exhaling to child's pose. Releasing into your child's pose, eyes closed, forehead to the ground, and with your hands, tuck your open palm underneath each foot. This is just a nice release through the upper back as well as the lower back. So from here, we're gonna move into rabbit pose. So let's take a deep breath in together. On the exhale, leaving the top of your head where it is, lift your back up towards the sky. Make sure that your head is just barely touching the floor. You don't want any pressure on your neck and shoulders.
one more deep breath in here and on the exhale release you can extend your arms in front of you as well we're going to move the body forwards rolling through the body like a wave as we come into a high plank position from your high plank bring your elbows down move our hips up and down from one side to the other and final time each side and then back to center elbow plank and we're going to move from here into dolphin pose lift and push back through the hips step in through the feet just slightly and just try to draw those heels down towards the ground Let's take one more deep breath in together and on the exhale, come forward back to elbow plank. Bring your hands down, lift to high plank and move through your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts to three-legged dog. Exhale, step those hips. Inhale, straighten out. Now we're gonna drive that left knee to left elbow. Extend, knee to chest. Extend, and knee to right elbow, coming across the body, and extend. Just keep repeating this. three-legged dog and hold take a deep breath in exhale step that left foot up between the hands <sighs> moving to low lunge release your back toes lift up through the upper body inhale exhale drop those hands behind the head and twist inhale extend exhale twist three more times final time lifting to high lunge taking one deep breath in exhale drop that back heel come to warrior two Exhale, extend that front leg, rotate the body back into reverse warrior. Take a deep breath in and exhale as you cartwheel the hands down. Step back, moving into high plank and then chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale to downward facing dog. Now let's move into the same sequence on the other side. So lifting your right leg to three-legged dog. Exhale, stack your hips. Keeping the upper body firm and in position.
Inhale, straighten up through that back leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, connect knee to elbow, outer elbow. Inhale, extend three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. And exhale across the body, connecting to your left elbow. Keep repeating this sequence and I'll call you back when it's time to transition. And now let's step that foot up to the front in between the hands and move our way into low lunge. Release your back toes. Inhale through the arms. And exhale, bring your fingertips behind the head. Let's take a deep breath in together. And on that exhale, we wanna twist to the right side, twisting from the navel with control, back to center, extend. Keep this going. And final time to twist. Back to center, extend and lift that back knee, coming into high lunge. Let's take one deep breath in together here in our high lunge. And as we exhale, drop that back heel and move to warrior two. Inhale as you extend that front leg. Rotate the body back as you reverse your warrior. And on your next exhale, cartwheel the hands down, moving to high plank. And then your chaturanga. and push back to your downward facing dog. Draw those heels down, press out through the hands into your hips and shoulder blades. So let's take a deep breath in from our downward facing dog and exhale as you roll out to high plank, lifting your left hand coming into side plank, taking a deep breath here and then lifting through that left knee, planting that left hand down and bringing that left knee in between the hands. And let's come into our pigeon pose with a funky variation. Inhale those shoulders back, exhale as you slowly come forward. As we come down with the body, bring your hands into prayer, bring your right elbow down and hold a prayer through the arms as you gently lower the right side of your face down. So we're not just moving into the lower body here, we're also moving into the upper body as well. So please just close your eyes here and bring your attention to the breath. We're just gonna enjoy a couple of rounds of deep breathing here as you allow the body to open up. Mm -hmm. 
Let's all take one more deep breath in together. Drop that left hand down beneath your shoulder blade as you do the same with your right. Extend your arms. So we're gonna take a variation of mermaid pose now, whichever variation you like. So let's take that back foot and just hold it here if this is well within your limits. If you would like to challenge yourself and go a little deeper, you can begin to just slowly and really mindfully draw that back foot towards you, just like this. And if you're feeling confident and comfortable, you can take a full mermaid with me as I'm demonstrating now. And let's release. Let's bring both hands down. Move to high plank, inhale. Exhale, slowly down. Let's come through into our chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in as you draw those heels down. And on the next inhale, roll through the body, coming out and into a high plank. Lift through the right arm this time, coming into side plank, holding for a couple of breaths. And when you are ready, lifting that right knee up and then bring your right hand down, bring that right knee in between the hands Inhale, shoulders back. Check that back leg, you want it straight behind you. When you're ready, slowly come down. Bring your hands into prayer. Left elbow comes down. Left side of the face comes down. And just focus inward on your breathing here. Allow the body to just relax into this pose. And let's all take one more deep breath in together. On that exhale, begin to rotate as you bring your hands down. Extend your arms as you bring those shoulders back. Turning to face that back leg and taking your mermaid variation if you wish. Wherever you are in your practice is exactly where you are meant to be. So please don't push yourself. Just do what feels good. If your body says go for it, you can take that full variation as well. And let's release, drop that back leg, bring your hands down, move to high plank. Inhale from your high plank and exhale as you move forward down into your chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog and exhale, child's pose.
and on the next inhale gently bring those shoulders back as you sit on your heels bring your hands into prayer at the heart and now we're going to finish with our pranayama breathing technique anulom vilom so taking your index finger and your central finger bring it to your third eye with your thumb over one nostril and your ring finger over another nostril little finger is just pointing out to the side we're going to begin on an inhale through one nostril start wherever you wish filling the lungs in this way through one nostril pause open the other side exhale inhale Pause, swap, and again, exhale, inhale, and we just keep that going, swapping one nostril with the other, releasing the air and filling our lungs, each side. So please close your eyes now, and without my assistance, continue this in your own rhythm and speed. And wherever you are, make that your final breath. Bring your hands into prayer at the heart. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this class, subscribe now, like, comment, all of that stuff, because if you enjoy what I do, then please help to support it and allow me to work my way up the algorithm so that more people who can benefit from my content get to see it as well. All right, guys, I wish you a beautiful day. Enjoy.